Michael Bryson, aged 27, of Eugene, Oregon, was last seen by his parents, Tina and Parrish Bryson, on Monday, August 3rd, 2020. Michael had stopped by their house in Harrisburg, Oregon. He told them he was riding up with a friend to a week-long birthday party camping trip at Hobo Campground near Dorena, Oregon. At 8.30pm that evening, Michael and his friend Ben left Eugene and headed out to Hobo Camp. He would never return from this trip. Michael had just been getting his life back together after a drugs problem. Before COVID-19, Michael had been working at a local bar and grill and he told his parents he was interested in studying to become an electrician. But for years, his passion was music and he was often invited to DJ sets at parties and raves across the state. His parents would describe him as someone with a big heart who always tried to help others. Michael had previously travelled twice to Africa on mission trips and came back with an edge to move there and continue to help others. At 8.30pm that evening, Michael and his friend Ben left Eugene and headed out to the Hobo Camp. Hobo Camp is a small roadside campground located in the Umkra National Forest. The event at the camp, according to Michael's parents, was more like a rave, a party in the woods that was attended by approximately 40 to 70 people. Drinking and drug use were said to be reported at the event. Not a great deal of information is available as to what happened at the event, but what is known is for some reason in the early morning hours of Wednesday, August 5th, 2020, Michael got upset and walked off a bus that was at the event and wandered into an unknown direction. This is the last time that Michael would be seen. Michael's parents weren't alerted to their son's disappearance until 5pm on August 6th. They immediately drove to the area where Lane County Sheriff's Office Search and Rescue had already deployed search teams to search by land and by water. When Michael's parents arrived almost 12 hours since he had been missing, they were surprised to see people weren't looking for Michael. They were sitting around, drinking, eating, laughing. Most of the partygoers were not interested in searching for him. Upon checking, Michael had left his camping gear behind. His phone was powered off. Immediately, his parents and investigators began looking for him. In fact, hundreds of volunteers showed up to aid in the search. The task was a large one, with miles of wilderness to cover. Teams on foot, horseback and drones combed the area for 19 days straight. The terrain was steep and the area was dense with trees. Parts of the woods were overgrown which made it extremely difficult for all those concerned. At the end of the searches the result was disappointment. Michael had not been found and no clues or shreds of evidence were found. His family were utterly devastated. Another source of disappointment for the family was they never got a straight answer from the party goers and his father said that he believes they know more than they are letting on. The stories given by some of the people at the party are inconsistent, he said and most of these people left the day Michael went missing and continued to hold raves and parties. He went on to thank the few friends that did attend the rave who stayed to help in the search for Michael. As the weeks passed, Michael's parents, although still holding out hope, they were now fearing the worst. None of Michael's bank accounts had been touched. His parents, deep down, knew he wouldn't just walk away from his life. Even in his toughest times, he would always contact us. Despite over 15 different searches spanning over two counties, 
no further evidence would be found. However, that would change a few months later, when a major discovery would lead to more questions than answers. On December the 11th, 2020, Michael's father got a call from a person who saw something on Bryce Creek Road, a mile west of the Hobo Camp. The Lane County Sheriff's Office reported to the scene and found some of the items that Michael was last seen wearing. The items were found in an area that had been searched several times and was also visible from the road, so how they were missed originally is unknown. For some close to the investigation, it's hard to believe that these clothes were there on previous searches. For Michael's father Parrish, he said he's 99.9% .9 sure that the items were planted. My gut tells me that they were probably placed there. This would be the last development in the case. At least three times per week, Parrish said he is out following tips from the community, which sometimes means driving into the woods in the dead of night, only to find animal bones, or realise it's an area he already investigated. But whatever lead comes in, he needs to follow it, if it brings him any closer to finding out what happened to Michael that day. Bryson's parents are convinced someone murdered their son, though police have found no evidence to suggest this was the case. A Facebook group called Let's Find Michael Bryson already has more than 12,000 members, who include family, friends, the community and people from around the world. Detective Smith told Dateline that Michael's disappearance is still an ongoing active investigation and that they are doing everything they can to bring him home. They urge anyone with information to call the Lane County Sheriff's Office. As of December 2023, Michael's case remains unsolved.